So cute. <laughs> so pretty and classy. I take I technically have those like ear protecting dye thingies, but I don't like using them. We're gonna make the mixture. There's a reason why I tell people that I impulsive dye my hair. Because I do. I kind of regret it. I think it is pretty even. Hair is now dry. I will be blow drying it and then update. Hi, my hair is so puffy after drying. Um, I don't know. I do not prefer this hair color, though the hair is not very dry, so in terms of quality of the hair care, I feel like it's not bad. Um, at least so far, don't feel that much damage yet. Right now, I'm using the treatment thing for after dye, you know. I already used my own hair oil. And then right now, this one is like a cream kind of thing. Although, honestly, I don't know which one should come first, but I already did the oil, so it's not like there's a choice. Um, but anyways, I do feel like I do prefer my usual little um oh yeah this is called recovery balm so this should probably be the thing that comes after the oil yeah anyways back to the topic yeah i prefer my splat blue hair color um so maybe i should we'll just look out for the on sale times of the that hair dye because sometimes it's on sale and i can get it for cheaper than what 15 16 dollars even though it's honestly not that much but if you gotta re-dye it every month or so of course you gotta get the better deal you know though i like, the cur I currently have one in stock in my room. Um, and I, like, that's like for whenever I need to impulsively dye or touch up my hair. Cause like, it's not always available. Like at my, I like, buy it, I buy it at London Drugs. And in my school and the drugs right now, it's not available. So I got it when I just passed by the Robson one the other day. Yeah. But hopefully it will go on sale soon. So I can buy more and dye my hair into that pretty shade of blue from before. Not that... I don't know, I, I don't want to insult it, but this feels kind of patchy. Is it my fault that it's patchy? I don't know. I did use the comb thing, but yeah, even if it's not patchy, I don't think the color is the best. So yeah, I'll see how it fades. You'll see it in my vlogs for how it fades. Maybe not my whole hair, but parts of my hair. And okay, let me I'm combing out the recovery. 
Mercury bomb. Oh, I'm not wearing my watch. It's, uh, yeah, but thank you for watching the video, this video, if you're still here. Um, overall review of the product is that, I don't know, not my best, but if you're looking for something light, or maybe if you just want to dye your black hair brown, then it's a nice product, because the top of my head that is black turned brown, um, so yeah. Hi, so this is my classmate Ryan. We were just talking about how I learned my English and it's through Wattpad fan fictions. And he is saying that he can totally tell how fa uh, fan fictions is what shaped me as a person. Well, like, so, like, continue. I, so, like, I go from the start. I didn't know initially, all right? It's, it's not something you can easily fan out, but, like, you, you tell me that, mm -hmm. right? Look at you now. And you've got, like, a, a rather well spoken. Uh, quirky, so intellectual sort of like characteristics, and it's like, yeah, no, this is this is the sort of caring of someone who spent a lot of time staring at uh, a screen and, and people's amateurish writing. Interesting, interesting. I would never have thought of that. I don't know if I agree or disagree, because I do not know how other people perceive me, but that's like such an interesting take. In the future, when I introduce myself to other people, I'll be like, Hello, my name is Thena, and I am shaped by fan fictions. <laughs> okay, that's it. We're at Mr. Ice Cream. Um, we're here before a show because without sweet stuff, I'll probably pass out from exhaustion. I'll be getting the Jasmine one ice cream and Ruby will be getting Thai milk tea. Yes. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> It's so funny because everyone in our cohort came without even talking about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Ruby got creme brulee at the very end because they don't have time milk tea. How is it? But it's a little bit too sweet. A little too sweet? Oh my god. You saying it's sweet, that means it's pretty sweet. <laughs> um, as I said, mine is jasmine tea. Really good. And unique flavor. I don't think I've ever seen jasmine tea ice cream before. Really good. Mister, it was what, $7? Yeah. Hi, this is really random really extremely super random but adulting 101 i'm so fucking proud so um at my place the toilet has been weird for the last couple days maybe week or so and i have no idea how to unclog ish a toilet because it's not clogged but you can't really flush anything properly so then uh i was like Ugh, like what to do and like even if you flush it multiple times it doesn't really go away and things like that and so finally just now i was free-ish and then I, I searched up how like toilet not flushing properly and i found this video um i will put up the name of the youtuber not YouTube, like the youtube channel in the video later 
but oh my god it's literally not even a one minute fix it was like a three seconds fix so it's a little gross but as long as you have a glove it's kind of okay so i have this used toothbrush from when my dad was still here that i kind of just use it to kind of scrape things oh that's like dirty and you use that to stick it in the toilet hole like the other side of the toilet hole so there's one the back side where everyone one knows where it flush and there's also another side and that was clogged and so you just like kind of poke it around a little and then things will come flying out well not flying out but floating out and then i flush the toilet and oh my god it's It flushed properly. I'm... Whoa. Like, honestly, it didn't feel as gross as it did. Because, I don't know. I, I used a plastic glove instead of a latex glove. And I think that might have helped. Because I think in by using a latex glove, you can still kind of feel the water. Like, you can probably feel things more um, viscerally. If that's the word um yeah so i unclogged my toilet adulting 101 we are back here with denise because the food is good we'll be getting churros later churros. we're at trees strawberry hibiscus iced tea Okay, so got back home from meeting Denise, um, and then I did some chores, you know, throwing out the trash, um, doing my laundries, and I tutored, and when I started tutoring, I started feeling this kind of headache, and I have no idea what it is, but some people around me have been getting headaches so i hope it's not any sickness that like with headache as a symptom because i honestly cannot afford being sick right now do not have the time to be sick so yeah i hope it's just a random ass headache and i also did the schedule for this weekend so today I'll be doing three assignments, well, three tasks, and then tomorrow three. So today I'll be doing housework, um, monologue slash gesture, basically homework for my acting class, and also doing journals for my studio class. And then um, tomorrow I will editing the vlog I will do research for a presentation for acting class and there's something else that I forgot sending emails for club thingies oh my god I'm like my brain is not working at the moment I'm so fatigued for no apparent reason so I'll take a nap First, it's 7.10, so I'll maybe nap until 7.40, and then shower, finish my laundry, dinner, homework, homework. There we go. And I'm trying to find something to watch. You know those stuff on Netflix? I'm struggling. Can't find anything to watch right now. Which is, I guess, is a good thing. Because I'm someone who, when I start watching something, I, I have to finish it. So, I guess I'll stick to YouTube, like, random videos that I can find. Oh my 
god, it's a big onigiri at Omomo. Omomo living. That is about it for this week's snippet vlog of the week. And if you do enjoy my video thing, please do give this video a thumbs up. If you like my channel, give it a subscribe. If you if you think that your friends will enjoy the content, then share this video with them. And if you like me talking, and if you aren't watching my walkie-talkie videos already, then I have my walking, uh, walking home with me pod, uh, podcast-ish videos in my channel, on my playlist, and I also have some random, random other videos if you like. That's about it for today's video. Goodbye.